Hello. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I drew this Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. But before we start, I thought I would mention that I have longer tutorial videos over on Patreon for those that are interested. And uh, this particular uh, image um, artwork, I'm going to divide up into three separate uh, long tutorials focusing on the eye, the nose and the long fur on the ear. So if you're keen to see longer videos, uh, pop on over to Patreon. I'll have a link pop up here as well as a link in the description. Now onto the tutorial. I start by lightly blocking in the colours in the background. Um, using magenta, dark red, permanent carmine and mauve to get the colours that I want, the effect that I want. I'm doing light layers, not pressing very hard. And once I've done a layer of each of those colours, I then go through and blend it using an odorless solvent on with a brush. I then do another layer of the background, um, just using some ivory and the white luminance pencil as well to get in some different colour effects that I'm wanting for the background. I'm just doing um, loose shapes and not really focused on too much with the background as I don't want the focus of the picture to be on the background. And then onto the eye, I block in the black spots of the eye before using red violet on the eye and a little bit of the white luminance pencil. I also use uh, a grey, a cold grey to block in the greyer areas before going over it again in black to darken it a bit. I'm using the white luminance pencil on the highlights in the eye to make sure that they come up bright, nice and bright. I did put the direct highlight spot down first with the white pencil before colouring in the black to protect it from the black when I blended it. And then just going over the black side of the fur on the left. And um, when I do black, I then go over it with red violet to make that red look a lot deeper. The brown fur that I'm using, uh, Sanguine and Caput Mortem, and those two colours go really well together for the browner fur in this portrait. I'm keeping all my pencil strokes uh, long in this section of the fur because this dog actually has quite long fur. So I'm doing long curving strokes. Always make sure there's a slight curve in your lines when you're drawing fur as fur rarely sits flat in a straight line. It always has a slight curve. With the black, I, light, I put a layer of grey down first, which is the highlighted areas, and then I go over with the black to get the darker fur strokes. Now onto the snout area, and here I am using very short pencil strokes to get the effect of the short fur that's on the snout. I use different greys to get the shadowed area in there because the fur over the nose is white. On the nose I block in with black and um, you'll notice I did a circular pattern to get some of the texture of the nose. Um, they have quite a rough texture, dogs usually do. And then I've used a white pencil to pull out some of those spots to make it them brighter, to make it um, look a little bit shiny on that side of, side of the nose. Now that I'm going down the left side of the face, you'll notice those little white lines that are there. What I've actually done is go over them first with the white luminance pencil to sort of protect that spot from the black pencil. Um, it helps especially when you're blending, um, as the pencil doesn't seem to stick when you uh, pr press down really hard with the white pencil first on those spots. 
that's a good way to get the whiskers to stay nice and bright. Adding a little bit of colour around the mouth. Uh, this dog had quite a distinctive red line um, in the fur around the mouth from its uh, drool. Uh, certain dogs tend to have get a pink sort of stain around their mouth and sometimes around their eyes as well. You don't want to go overboard with adding that colour. Just a slight hint of it is enough. Um, and if you're doing this as uh, portraits as a commission, um, that is one thing to clarify with the owner as to how much you want of that on the dog because sometimes it can make the dog look dirty. With the brown fur, it's just a mixture of sand green and kaput mortem with a little bit of black over it. And with the fur, especially around the eye, um, watch your reference photo because Often the fur will go in different directions and you want to make sure that you're getting the fur going in the right direction, especially around the eye. Onto this fur on the neck, it's white fur, but when you look at the reference photo, none of the fur is actually very white. It's all shadowed from the head. So I've used a lot of greys and just blocked them in and the greys I've used are all cold greys. They're cold grey 1, 3, and I also used 5. And I just did long strokes because this fur here is quite long and I've focused mostly on the clumps of fur rather than the individual strokes. You don't want as much detail on the neck as you do on the face because you don't want the focus to be on the neck. You want it on the details of the face. Now onto the ear. Again, I'm focusing on the clumps, not the individual hairs. Um, also, blocking, I've blocked in all the dark uh, shadows in the clumps. You may have noticed me using a blue pencil on the black fur as well. And that one is sky blue. I just wanted to give a hint of blue into the fur, not too much. Just enough so that the shiny areas in the fur had a slight blue sheen to them. I've also gone over using the white pencil and adding in lots of little tiny fur strokes and I'm not going overboard with it but just giving that sense of um, the way the fur goes in the ear. When doing those fine strokes, make sure your pencil is really sharp to get a uh, really thin line on your fur strokes. And that is all for that tutorial. If you're interested in longer tutorials focusing on separate parts of that particular portrait, um, check out my Patreon page um, and there'll be a link for that. And I'll see you all next time.